Well, today uh, I've come to look at the mill house length on Codbeck. And this is the road out of Thirsk going towards Northallerton. And I'm parked here. Thirsk is behind me. And there goes. And there's a footpath that leads across there. Let's go and have a look at it. It's obviously very, very popular. Go through this gate. Across the field to this little bridge, which is the top limit. It is the uh, first gangling club private fishing sign on the opposite side of the bridge, and uh, we have the left bank. So I'll go down at the bottom and work my way back up. And a chap fly fishing, just been having a chat with him. And he's just going to fish up to the weir. It's incredibly low the water. So this is obviously the uh, the bottom of the length. And it says after this it's private fishing. <laughs> and this is Codbeck, almost stationary. We we'll just make our way upstream around this field. And this sandy bank with a pool. There's a little bit of wind now. I felt wind for a while. And uh, a little sign here. There are overhead cables there. Again, they're not very high. So be very careful if you're fishing this bit. And it swings round there to the right, going upstream. And then the sandy bank. Deep water on the outside there, undercutting that bank. And along here it's uh, lined with alders. And there's an electric fence. There are horses in the field here, but this electric fence keeps them at bay. Not that I think there would be any bother, but just in, in case you're wary of horses. A little bit of trimming going on here. Yeah, there's access to places along here. You just have to be very careful because the strands of barbed wire in the undergrowth here. <laughs> it's trip or not and fall in. This time of year, obviously, the vegetation is very low. But you can see by this that uh, in the summertime, you come up past your waist. It's just on this sandy bank here, just how high the water is when it's in flood. You see the tide line there between the sandy bank and the, and the green vegetation. Gravelly bed there. And some sedges on. Obviously, they'll be quite high. And this one in the air. And at the top of the length, it shallows up over those gravels there. So I'm back up at the little footbridge, which is the top of the length. There's a weir up there. I might just go and have a look at that. Not being familiar with this neck of the woods. But obviously it's... Uh, it's, not with, it's not within the Thirsk Angling Club's fishing stretch. Well, that bridge down there is the top of the Thirsk 
I'm going to stretch. But just for a matter of interest, I walked up. And there's a delightful weir and weir pool here. Which I think provided water for a mill at South Kilvington, which is obviously now a private dwelling. And there's no, uh, there's no access to, to the mill and its environs. There's something else you don't see very often these days. A flowering elm. These are the flowers of the elm tree, decimated by Dutch elm disease. Little things they are. The seed is in the middle, and it's surrounded by this sort of flat wing. It's floating in water, so it falls in and gets bushed together, this thing. Dries up, drops into the water, and it's carried by the water. Here, when it's wherever it gets washed up. You don't often see them these days. There used to be millions of them. They've all gone, and uh, eventually this one will succumb to uh, Dutch Elm disease. And you can see the top of the dam, and you know, the sluice gates were to open up. So when these sluice gates were closed, instead of flowing downstream on the left, the water was pushed along the mill race, which is obviously still functioning. And now you can see the mill race continuing downstream towards the mill. Well, it's still got the mill machinery inside. And this is obviously the mill being renovated. You can see the centrepiece of a mill wheel there leaning up against the wall. Minus all the paddles. Well, it will be a view. We won't be able to see from this book after very much longer. They've planted a yew hedge along here so that you can't, well, won't be able to see the mill from this public footpath. So I'm assuming that that's the mill's, mill house and the mill alongside it. And there you can see the mill race. And I suspect there's no wheel attached to it. <laughs> no, that's fascinating to see the mill and the mill race still running. Oh, bunny bird. That tail bobbing up down. Catching flies coming off the water, it mainly said yesterday. I'll turn around so we get a better view. So this part of Codbeck is, obvious, is also shared with the fly fishing syndicate. So it's only open to first hanging club members from the 1st of November to the 15th of March inclusive. And for the rest of the time, it's uh, the fly fishers, the fly fishermen. This is what they call a mill house length. <laughs> South Kildington.